Yo, YouTube, the Hodgeable here. And this is actually an exciting day because we are going to be getting out of Manila. I've been in the city for, you know, a bit of time and I'm ready to get out. It's a lot of hustle and bustle here. Always people moving around and everybody's like chasing money. There, there are some cool things about being in Manila, but I want some of that real Filipino culture. So what I'm doing is going to uh, Marivelas and going to Baguio, uh, taking a boat. You see the boats back here? And it should be exciting. I'm expecting good nature, good food, good people. And I'm taking you guys with me. Holla at you in a minute. I'm just waiting on, uh, I'm waiting on the people to announce that we're going to be boarding the bus here. What's going on YouTube? The Hodgeable here, coming from Maravellas in the Philippines. It's my first day out here and I'm going to tell you that I'm actually happy to get out of the city to get out of Manila. Spending so much time in Manila, you know, it's just a lot of cars, tricycles, people, people uh, begging for money. You see some really rough things in Manila, but like here, here in the nature, it's a lot more, it's a lot more peaceful. It feels, it feels way better to be out of the city. So yeah, the provinces, the provinces of the Philippines are really where it's at if you're looking for the true spirit of the Philippines, like really relaxed people, clean nature, good air, uh, cheap everything. It's all in the provinces. Uh, it's a blessing because I know uh, I have a connection out here. I'm able to stay uh, in a house for free. It's just so many blessings. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be in the Philippines. The only other province that I've been to is called uh, Zambales. And that was nice as well. I think this place is a little bit more clean. Uh, the people here are like very relaxed because they live by the water, you know, so no stress. And I'm, I'm the only foreigner. I'm the only foreigner out here. Excuse me if there's like a bit of wind. I'll try to edit some of the wind out. But yeah, it's nice. I think they, I think there's a word. like this with the water I like to see areas like here like go see go see the mountains actually uh, the house that I'm staying at is on a mountain so I stayed on a mountain last night very very different for me I'm I'm, a, I'm from the city I'm from Sacramento California so you know, being around this much nature is different for me and um But I'm, I'm embracing it. I'm embracing it. While I'm here on the earth, I want to, you know, have the most fulfilling experience that I can. So, yeah, that includes seeing all kinds of nature, all kinds of people, cultures. Uh, go ahead and put in the comments below, uh, what is your favorite province in the Philippines and why? I've been to Zambales and now this is Maravellas. Um, I feel like the people in Zambales were like really embracing to me. So it was better, it was better there in that regard. Uh, but here, the nature, the nature is like more clean and pure. Yeah. And like I said, you know, this is an extended trip. Uh, 
before this, I was in Indonesia. I put up a few videos of Indonesia too. Check them out. And if travel and languages is your thing, be sure to like and subscribe. One of the main surprising parts of which is three dollars i was able to get a whole it was like eight fishes raw fish uh, i got to go back to the house and cook eight fish for you know three dollars that's great for maybe 120 that's like that's like food for one person in manila a hundred 120 you know stuff like that but 150 and we were able to feed the whole house uh, my girlfriend her family it's cool man i'm gonna be able to save some money while i'm out here you, you see that you see them on the boat maybe i'll even be able to get on the boat Who knows? but maravellas really cool really really cool I kind of want to be adventurous and go here on these rocks, but I know I'm going to be carrying my phone and it's probably not worth risking it. Yeah, so for anybody who hasn't been to the Philippines and you're, you know, wondering how it is, what kind of nature is available, I wanted to make this video. Uh, God willing, you know, hopefully I'll be able to make a video like this next to the water, a video in the mountain area, and then also like uh, kind of in the city part. People are like doing business, uh, buying and selling things. And I think that would be like a comprehensive kind of view of what's going on out here. This place isn't too big, you know. And if you're somebody who constantly needs something new, Maybe this kind of lifestyle wouldn't be for you because you, you're going to be seeing the same people every day. Um, you know, things change slower. People are more relaxed. But, but me, just to get away from Manila, I think for right now, this is OK. So I'm letting the experience kind of kind of hit me uh, bit by bit. And yeah, vlogging. I've been trying to, you know, come come with more vlogs, uh, learning how to do this thing. Recording the video, editing the video, publishing. It takes time. You know, I just hope that I stay encouraged and be able to come out with more content because I do have a lot of things going on in my life with the languages and traveling you know i could i could be somebody who has a following of you know i've always had a social media following but youtube is like youtube is like different i really have to build it up and come with quality content so that you guys will subscribe if you want to support an up-and-coming travel vlogger somebody who's speaking spanish chinese swahili if you want to support that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit like because I'm, I'm putting my effort in to come with content. To everybody out there uh, watching from YouTube, I want to say peace. See you next time.